Hello everyone and welcome to the After Hours Gaming League. I am your host for the match Crick Chronic War Catalyst. And we have a very unusual setup here uh, of circumstances. We uh, did have the match slated to be uh, Crunchyroll versus Amazon Pentahugs. But unfortunately, uh, one of Amazon Pentahugs players was unable to be uh, reached in time for the match. Pardon me. Um, so after debate of whether or not we would get a uh, nice performance by me as a Phil, <laughs> um, we decided just to grab a random person. Um, the match formally will be uh, forfeited over to Team Crunchyroll here on the blue side uh, since Amazon Pentahugs was not able to get uh, one of their approved subs uh, in, in his place. So... Uh, we will still be casting the match though because we are awesome people. The show must go on. Uh, so we will go ahead and uh, cast this match regardless. We're just doing a quick little blind pick uh, just to try and make up for time because we are a little bit behind schedule right now. Uh, and we did want to bring you guys a match today. I know in the past there have been some times when uh, we've had some forfeits that had to happen. Uh, so the matches were just entirely called off and I don't want to... Uh, carry that on with uh, anyone watching the stream uh, who came and stayed from an earlier match or came for this one. I don't want you to be let down and have there be nothing for you. Um, so we're going to have a fun match up here today uh, between these two teams. So just a little bit over, obviously no ban since we're just doing a quick little blind pick here. Um, but we do have uh, some more fun champs coming out uh, for this Crunchyroll team. Uh, not necessarily any of their uh, favorite picks here. Um, possibly trying to uh, break out something new, try something a little funky, see if they can get um, a new composition working together. Obviously, you know, when you have the Warwick uh, and Sona chaining that CC together, uh, especially off of an Annie stun as well, like that CC is insane already. Um, but when you think of it like, you can have their whole team essentially locked down in a certain area for that long. Well, Rumble can just lay on out the red carpet. <laughs> so, um, definitely going to be uh, a huge team fighting potential here since there's so many ways to start this off. Of course, aside from Annie, all of those strong engagement tools are ultimates though. So what the red side's gonna have to do this game is try and bait out uh, the ultimates as much as possible or wait until the ultimates are on cooldown uh, from their knowledge in the lanes and then try and uh, contest objectives then. Uh, that way they can contest them without those ultimates being up. Of course, Annie, even without her ultimate, can still get the AoE stun off her W if she charges it and uses that one uh, to get her stun. Uh, but hopefully that uh, wouldn't be too much to swing the entire battle over to this blue side here. Uh, and when we look at the red side's team composition, by the way, uh, for reference, Lol Kite <laughs> is the uh, random we grabbed. Uh, when we look at this red side, obviously, the Swain here, I'm um, going to assume that's going to be a mid lane Swain, uh, going to be bringing some AP noise. Uh, Swains typically go a little bit more tanky, a little bit more spell vampy. Uh, but I'm imagining a little bit more of the glass cannon build uh, from the Swain here. Uh, possibly uh, trying to rush up to that Zonia's uh, as quickly as possible to maximize uh, being able to Birdman and then go golden. Um, but as far as uh, starting off team fights are concerned, of course, you have the Thresh. Uh, obviously the CC machine that he is. You have a Warwick of their own. Uh, which we have already talked about, is able to combo really well and just keep someone suppressed for the entire team fight uh, if possible. And perhaps uh, the wild factor in this is going to be the non-synergy brought up with that Zin Zhao. He's not going to be able to combine too well with the rest of his team. But should he get a good engagement, should he be able to dive to the back line and knock them all away and then uh, just isolate someone, I mean, that would be fantastic. <laughs> Zin Zhao has a lot of potential this game so um, well of course I think that uh, having that Zin Zhao be not on their team is definitely going to hurt them 
there's so much potential there that hopefully Zinzao will be able to just read to the situations and react to the situations properly uh, and be able to make those plays uh, to swing those team fights in their favor. Similarly, as well, by the way, for this Amazon Pentahugs team, uh, we don't have too many people who are their uh, like top tier uh, picks here. Warwick obviously is one of the top tier picks here going to Cloud Chaser uh, as far as comfort champs are concerned, I mean. Um, but yeah, so aside from that, though, there's not too much of the uh, number one comfort picks coming out for either team. Uh, a little bit more in the spirit of fun today. By the way, speaking for a moment of fun, uh, let's talk about what exactly uh, we are playing for here today, and that is charity. Uh, both teams are playing for Child's Play. Uh, it's a charity that tries to go to children who are in hospitals and domestic abuse centers uh, and bring them the joy of gaming. You know, once you're in that kind of situation, it can be very uh, difficult for you as a child to deal with um, that kind of trauma. Uh, so trying to get kids the chance to be kids again um, is what that charity is all about. Trying to bring them the joy of childhood through gaming. A uh, joy that we all as gamers know ourselves and can appreciate. And it looks like... Thresh is actually going to be spotting out this invade just in time. Uh, it looks like there won't be any way to stop uh, Thresh here. Actually, Rumble opting not to auto that. Gonna leave the ward up. That was definitely uh, a little bit of a mistake there. Swain did start up with that CC. And, you know, actually, pretty bloody team fight right now happening. Not quite sure anyone's gonna be going down. Uh, unfortunately, Zen was a little bit late to the battle. He's just now running out uh, of his base here. Uh, but that looks like it will just be a little clash back and forth. No actual summoners traded yet. A little bit of wardage going down on both sides, but aside from that, no real change uh, to the situation here. People just going to back, heal up, and uh, get going onto their lanes again. It looks like it will be opposing side starts here. Uh, both junglers going to be starting that gromp. Get the uh, blue all that quicker. Um, get them that extra little bit of cooldown reduction so they can spam that heal, sustain on through the jungle. And we're off. Yes, uh, looking quickly again, um, that Xin Zhao did opt to go with Ignite as well as Rumble in the top lane. So I expect a very bloody showing here in this top lane. There should be um, a lot of fighting going on, a lot of scrappiness. As we already see, Rumble just walking up with that Flame Spitter and just <laughs> throwing it down on Xin Zhao. Um, he did opt to start that Doran Shield. So he's going to have... Uh, a little bit better survivability against the Zin Zhao, uh, who's going to be all about those auto attacks, especially early on uh, when he gets that gap closed to get in there and auto harass you even more. Um, so definitely a wise pick up there. Oh, let's actually swap these around, make this interface real nice and pretty here. Sorry about that. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, right now, aside from that uh, scrappy invade at the start, uh, looks like a pretty normal start here for both sides. A little bit of uh, trading going back and forth here in the bottom line. Actually, Thresh does land the hook. Ops to not go into range to get the flay. And that will be just some more trading back and forth. Uh, a little bit in favor of this blue side here. Uh, just because of that Sona sustain, the more the tradings happen, the more that Sona sustain is going to matter. Sona actually stepping forward quite a bit to try and uh, harass th these two down as much as she can. Try and push, it, push that sustain advantage even further. And with that uh, flask pot start here in the top for the Zin Zhao, um, he is surviving that lane pretty well, but definitely do not be fooled by that because there is a enormous CS disparity right now. Rumble has been able to just destroy Zin Zhao so far, zoning him completely off of his CS. Since I'm now only breaking 5 CS, whereas Rumble already at 15 uh, here in just a second has 
Huge advantage. Swain actually throwing out the ignite. Gonna be trading back and forth with the last tick. No! That will not be the last tick! We gotta see that again! Incredible! Deciding to just stand here 1v1. Both so confident in their champion's abilities here. And that last, watch the last tick of HP. Eight hit points was the lowest amount. Z uh, Swain stepping forward to try and get that last turret shot, or try and get that last auto attack in to finish off those eight hit points, but did not get it. And will pay for it with that turret shot that will take his life, and that is first blood onto this Annie in the mid lane. And all of a sudden... <laughs> Actually, hold that thought, because as we see, Thresh going very aggressive here, taking the hook in onto Jinx, gonna flay. And Jinx gonna be able to just uh, hang back off of that. Sona is very low on mana right now, so that sustain is going to be evaporating here. As Kaylin continuing to harass with that Q, now actually able to, now that they've chewed through Sona's mana for the most part, Gonna be able to get some effective harassment in here that's gonna make Jinx stay way back. I mean, one more hook even onto a Sona could spell disaster for this bottom lane. So you see Sona trying to get those heals out as quickly as she can just to make it a little less dangerous here in this bottom lane. Also trying to harass that Halo officer, but we actually see Zin Zhao going aggressive here. Gonna have to flash in the top lane away there. Barely getting out with his life. Very good flash there, making out with some hundred HP. Um, perhaps shouldn't have gotten as aggressive against that rumble uh, for that engagement as he did. Uh, but very good flash there to get out of this flame spitter to save himself that last bit of flame, flame spitter damage. Uh, to make sure he does not give up a kill. Actually, beautiful hook here on Jinx. Actually going to take the uh, hook in. Only going to tank one turret shot for his trouble though. Not too big of a deal. Again, this is where the sustain game comes into play. The longer they're able to hold out, uh, the more uh, Sona's going to be able to use that heal. But actually, she's opting to try and get a little bit of poke in with that Q. Thresh barely missing the hook there. So close. Very unfortunate for this red side here, missing that hook. That definitely could have spelled doom for this bottom lane. As Caitlyn taking quite a bit of damage. I mean, the story of this bottom lane right now seems to be whether or not Thrush can get this hook. Thrush has the health to go in, even under turret, tank up a couple shots so Caitlyn can get in her damage, but will he be able to get the CC to start off that engagement? Right now, I do not know. We'll have to wait and see here. And he does land it on a Sony. He is going to take the ride in, and Jinx going to be able to fend off Caitlyn from going too deep there. Uh, with those cues toggled on, harassing her down as much as possible. And here comes the ultimate out of uh, this rumble here in the top lane, just to try and uh, put the Zen Zhao in his place as soon as he gets back to lane here. Zen doing his best to trade, but missing lots of CS for it. Again, looking at that CS disparity in the top lane, it has become absolutely monstrous. And hold on, the Annie Burst going to be coming out. Swain sustained not enough. That uh, will be the kill going over to Annie, despite the uh, full combo Ignite coming out from Swain in reply. But hold that thought, because Rumble is caught out. He does have a huge item disparity advantage here over the Zen Zhao. And is actually going to flash to try and get him with the Flame Spitter and Ignite. It will be enough. And the Warwick, not six, not able to prevent that. Not able to do too much. And again, that's exactly what I was talking about. Zen Zhao only had uh, this little bit of MR here from the mantle. Uh, whereas Rumble had a full Seeker's arm guard completed. Definitely not a situation you want to be in in that top lane. Rumble going to be able to bully that top lane all day. As we look at... The general gold lead uh, from those three kills and that CS disparity starting to pile up here, uh, giving this blue side already uh, nearly 2k gold lead. And Rumble looking to extend that. 
uh, with a lot of damage onto this turret right now. Well, we're going to be able to fend Sona off of that pink port here in Swain. Actually catching Annie there, but thinking twice about going in again. Definitely with Swain, you're going to want to uh, combo somebody multiple times before you do your last all in there. So wise to go in there, get some damage, and then take some time to sustain backup using your ultimate. Uh, going to try it for the long game here, especially since Annie does now have that level advantage with her two items completed. Actually, uh, Annie opting to go for... Uh, not going to go under the turret here. Opting to go for uh, the hunting guys first. Uh, get a little bit of uh, pen coming out early in this middle lane here. Now that the DFG is gone, um, Annie a little bit more open to interpretation in her build style. Looks like we're opting for just a little bit of raw penetration and thrush. Unfortunately, hooking that minion there. Sona just barely making it out of the range. It looks like... Here comes Annie actually answering that swing, but hold that thought because Warwick coming in, suppressing him. Actually, the flash doesn't quite make it, but Zinzo able to knock him back and thinking about going back in, trying to wait for the flame spinner to die off. Annie does, and he gets it. Kill secured onto the Zinzo. <laughs> and that will be a desperately needed kill going over to the red side in this top lane all of the sudden. Zinzao should be able to hang a little bit better in that top lane with that one kill uh, disparity now a race. Though there is still a monstrous 30 CS lead. Uh, he's going to have to play very safely there. With that Seekers and uh, Pen Boots already upgraded for this Rumble here. Definitely going to be a huge threat in that top lane. So Zen's going to have to play his cards right here. Uh, if he's going to want to make it through there all right. We look at uh, different starts here as far as jungles are concerned uh, for these Warwicks. Identical CS, but the path here a little different. Uh, this Warwick for the red side uh, opting to get that Devour upgrade as soon as possible uh, and go just for the old school Feral Flare style of Warwick with that uh, jungle clearing uh, style of uh, jungle item. Whereas just the Stalker's Blade, no enchantment yet uh, for this Warwick on the blue side. Looking to get a little bit more good harassment there from Jinx. Uh, looking to get a little bit more of uh, the lane ganks down rather than the farming style. And use those Berserker Greaves to get in range to do that damage. Try and bring out uh, as much uh, damage himself as possible. Actually, great uh, snare there by Swain. Going to walk through the red carpet. Will he make it? The Ignite is ticking and he will be able to flash over the wall to avoid the last auto attack Swain. Very, very expert flash there. Gonna make it out with his life. Fantastic play there. Uh, especially with that ignite ticking. Cannot rely on your sustain. And Warwick, gonna get the jump on Warwick. <laughs> and it looks like Jinx should be able to clean this up with the rocket. Actually gonna get vision. No, gonna juke around. See if they can stop that great hook by Thresh as soon as that uh, lantern's thrown out. But actually, gonna be caught up in the Kaelin trap is Jinx, so she's not able to get quite enough DPS out like she needs. And the body block will be enough to discourage her from trying to throw out that ultimate to finish this up. Swain, very good at landing that ultimate, but Annie, the burst! The Annie Burst might just be too strong here. Looks like both sides are going to choose to disengage. But that is not the case in the bottom lane. Where Thrash styling with the ultimate at the end. Going to be able to finish it off. That Sona shield. Actually the passive shield from Sona. Where is my actual button to toggle the Sona? There it is. With that low amount of HP. Let's go back one more time. Keep an eye on the Sona HP. Right now. That shield, that little bit of shield might have been what saved her. It looks like she would have had just barely enough, but sub-100 hit points here for that Sona. And we see back in this mid lane, uh, Annie gonna be looking to try and hang around here to 
get as much of that CS as possible, but opting not to send in the Tibbers here. Possibly a little bit afraid of a Warwick popping out of nowhere. I uh, might not realize that that Warwick ultimate is in fact on cooldown right now. She's just waiting to step forward here, um, but Swain effectively zoning. Actually gonna miss the snare that time though. Good burst from Annie, but Swain gonna sustain right through it. And actually Annie forced to go back now, right as the CS will be crashing into her turret. So uh, gonna miss out on a lot of experience here is this Annie. As we see Rumble trying to do the death bush, trying to bait Lil Kitty back into this, but gonna think better of it uh, and actually just go back here, let those minions crash into the turret. Unfortunately, again, extending that lead even further, but we actually see the Caitlyn so very low and Thresh not able to body block when you're that close. Unfortunately, gonna be going down as Caitlyn, a cop has been outsmarted. <laughs> and that will be another kill or excuse me, the first kill going over to Jinx, another kill to this blue side. To even these kills back up. Um, and unfortunately for them, their early CS lead, um, or well, is still working in their favor overall because of that huge top lane disparity. Um, but with these kills even back up now, and these other lanes not necessarily carrying that same disparity as the top lane is, uh, it actually looks like this uh, game is fairly even back up. This, If they're able to get this turret and get that global gold, that would be huge right now. And it looks like they will in fact do it. So they do maintain some lead in this global gold right now. Uh, but overall, this is a very close match. It's only those two turrets that are making the difference. Actually, uh, Zin Zhao might have bit off a bit more than he can chew there, diving in on that. Thinking better of it after he's already lost half his health. Gonna try and throw out a little bit of damage, but here comes the red carpet and the flash to make sure that flame spitter is on target. Gonna be enough to finish him off in the turret. Will not get the reply kill, so another kill onto this rumble. And we actually see this is an uh, AP Zin Zhao, I believe. Um, well, regardless, we do see, actually, the <laughs> Tibbers coming out. Oh, not going to be enough. Going to require one more auto attack. Annie will get it off, though. And that will be... No, Annie not going down uh, for that kill. On to Warwick. Warwick just going to point-blank range here into Swain with this uh, rumble in tow. Swain does not have the mana. Uh, to wave clear, let alone get his own health up to try and sustain. Gonna try and hang around, gonna try and do what he can, throw on his ultimate for a couple seconds, but this rumble has so much damage right now, they're thinking about it, they're trying. Warwick, getting pretty low, gonna back off, and those minions actually gonna force the flash out of this Warwick, seeing that Zin Zhao coming in from the side. And Thresh just barely missing those hooks. Sona, great job hanging right by those minions so she can just duck behind him at the last second. Gonna flash, actually, right into a hook, I believe that was. And no, great block by this Jinx here, saving her support's life. Good guy, Jinx, uh, making sure there's no kills in this bottom lane. But in the meantime, there were, in fact, kills in this middle lane again. So we just saw that Warwick uh, forced to flash here and Zin Zhao going on a mission. Trying to hunt him down, knowing Warwick might be trying to be in a greedy area. But he sees the Annie. He decides not to go in on that Annie. Annie does not have her stun up. It's up now. And with the slow coming out, there's the stun. And that's just going to be a caught Zin Zhao. Unfortunately, able to get out that ultimate, but not able uh, to get anything for it. Aside for some mild discomfort here <laughs> on the two champions. And Thrush going to be able to fend off this Jinx. Who is trying her best to continue to outsmart this cop here in the bottom lane. But uh, 2v1 right now with Sona taking some time to come back to the lane. Not sure she's going to be able to. And this turret will go down. Uh, bringing that global gold over to this red side here. And Warwick thought he had a death bush set up. 
but actually didn't, but it's gonna turn around now that the Swain is here, and Warwick, the sustain, gonna be just barely enough, Annie might think about going back, no, actually, just going to bait it out, and Annie, no, will go back, will get the Q, and with the Tibbers, and the second Q, that's a double kill for Annie! Great play there by Annie to hang around, to thread that needle of like, which side should I go to? So should I continue to chase here? Should I back off and go on this side? But in the bottom lane, the action continues. Zen able to gap close, actually gonna burn the ignite just to secure it. Uh, wasn't sure if she was going to throw down that flash. And actually, yeah, the burn, not enough. 20 hit points, action all over the map right now, that burn. Just barely not going to be enough on to Thresh, who will make it out of there with his life. 2-0-1 carry Thresh, uh, going to continue to be <laughs> on an absolute tear through this game. As we see the ever-feared red buff Annie, going to be able to get even more burn onto you, as if her entire kit was not enough. We see uh, Rumble actually taking that speed up to go right through that uh, Swain snare. That's definitely part of the problem with Swain. As he gets into these later games, that snare is harder and harder to land as people get faster and faster, especially now with that dragon buff uh, that once you get to the third one, gives you that bonus movement speed. Swain is just so much harder to land his snares. He's almost primarily now a uh, follow-up engagement champion and Thresh. Actually missing the hook there, but here comes the red carpet. Actually going to be laid out, not really landing on too many people, but the ignite onto Swain. Going to prevent the healing, and here's the Sona ultimate to lock them down. Will Caitlyn be outsmarted? Will the flash get her? No. Caitlyn actually going to outwit the criminal this time. But in the meantime, actually, pardon me, let's focus on the actual action here. As we saw, um, a little bit of fighting happening. <laughs> Warwick going crazy after that crab. Um, but Zin Zhao coming in, gonna dive right in, trying to get a combo in with the Warwick. They are gonna get the kill onto the Rumble, but they're both so low now. Warwick actually going to be able to make it out just barely here. Uh, with the other Warwick in pursuit, but not gonna be enough to get him. Uh, as this will be an uncontested dragon. I believe that is in fact first of the game, yes. Going over to this blue side here. Or no, pardon me, that, no yeah, that was first of the game, okay. I was going to say, what? Um, but yeah, so first dragon of the game going over to this blue side here, uh, making use of their advantage of having all the outer uh, turrets down on the red side. Going to be using a bit more map control here uh, to press that dragon advantage and largely just get a really good team fight there. We see wards littered throughout that dragon pit, so certainly wards were not the uh, question there. It was just a question of, uh, having not enough people around to engage when you needed it. So unfortunately that will be the fight going in favor of this blue side. Actually, as we see Caitlyn here, gonna flash on, uh, is the Tibbers. There it is, yes, there is the Tibbers. Rumble bringing enough of a slow out here. Actually gonna throw the red carpet for Thresh. Thresh begging for the lantern, not gonna get it brought to him. And that will be a triple kill onto this Rumble who has gone absolutely insane this game. Bullied to no end his lane opponent and now 6, 4, and 5. Almost total kill participation here, excuse me, uh, from this Rumble who is bringing the noise this game. And it looks like this could be another turret going down in favor of the blue side here with Tibbers. Hero tanking this up and that will be uh, actually a blue turret going down in the top lane as we see Warwick trying to fend them off but going to get absolutely bursted down the damage onto that Warwick as Zen Zhao again biting off a bit more than he can chew but unfortunately Rumble taken so low by that he will go down so we're going to ignore this Zen Zhao in the top lane who just bit off a little bit more than he can chew but Warwick look at that 100-0 melt just not what you want to see and unfortunately uh, <laughs> uh, Rumble just getting a little bit too cocky of, him, of himself there, uh, stepping forward with those uh, huge amount of kills one after another coming in, thinking a little highly of himself, forgot that the Caitlyn ultimate is available, uh, and most importantly, was not able to zone as it, he did have that zone as completed, 
uh, for the Caitlyn ultimate, but he was not able to time popping in it just in the nick of time to save himself. Uh, so that will be another kill going over to Caitlyn here. As we see Warwick actually caught by this swain. Warwick's slow enough to run uh, is definitely a problem, and he will be able to kite away from Warwick to prevent any sustain coming out and pick up a solo kill himself. And he did uh, go rod, did the swain. So that is stacking up. Uh, it's almost uh, going to be done stacking here by the time we leave this mid game. So hopefully that will be able to uh, become a bit more of a factor here. Uh, as the red side's looking for any so sort of answer here uh, to try and bring to this game. Uh, as let me remind everyone again. This is Zin Zhao opting for AP Zin. Um, there is, I believe, one <laughs> ability of Zin that is AP. I'm actually going to be a horrid caster right now. Because I do not want to bring you guys the bad knowledge. I want to bring you all the facts. Uh, I'm going to just quickly look up Zinza. I apologize if there is some action going on. I am not able to see it. You guys are going to have to cast yourselves for just a moment. Um, yes, it is two abilities. I am glad I checked. I thought it was more than that. Um, and they are very high AP ratios. The W, uh, a 70%, and the E is a 60% AP ratio. So Zin definitely can bring the damage. Actually, back just in time to see Caitlyn get solo bursted by that Annie. Uh, and Zen gonna actually be able to flash and get that Jinx with his gap close. Uh, and that's exactly what we're seeing from the Zen here. If you're going in AP Zen, you're gonna have to burst somebody down. Use that gap close to get in, not for auto attacks, but to get in range to get uh, your AP abilities off. And you abuse the giant AP ratios that are on them. Try and get as much damage down as possible here. Uh, and it was definitely a good feign in the top lane um, as Rumble rushed that armor, which was not a very good use to him here. And with all of this CC coming out, that will be Rumble going down another kill onto the Swain. And all of a sudden, it seems like the red side might be starting to get back into this here. They do need to uh, change their place out a little bit, speaking specifically with the Zin Zhao. Uh, if you're going to go AP Zen, you're going to be far squishier, and you're going to be diving right into the thick of things to try and get your AP abilities off on somebody. So you got to know that you're going to need to uh, have some sort of survivability, which is why we do see him going with that uh, Zonia's uh, next here to try and get the ability to dive in, blow somebody up, and then throw down that Zonia's for the rest of his team to start reacting. Uh, because Zen is the primary source of engage aside from that Warwick ultimate um, for these team fights. So Warwick actually gonna be safe here. Uh, and I think even better than to go after him there. But yes, definitely um, gonna be able to bring a lot of damages in if he can get somebody out. He should be able to solo people for sure, but actually hold that thought because the ultimate from Sona gonna come out Keep Warwick on the red carpet just long enough to get the kill on the rumble and then the next Warwick uh, Or excuse me the next uh, Get that kill on to work and the next kill on Swain coming out as well That one going over to rumble and with two members down that looks to be this turret Zen thinking about flanking gonna think better of it uh, and go around here. Rumble just gonna zone people off. And that will be the inhibitor in this middle lane going down in favor of this Crunchyroll team. As we see the pings coming out for the dragon, which is live. Gonna throw down, actually gonna eat a cupcake on her way as Sona. Uh, as no real wards actually being dropped along the way here. They will pick up a blue buff, put that on to accidentally jinx. Through the red buff, red buff is in fact OP. Gonna put that blue buff on a Jinx. And that will be the second dragon of the game going over to this blue side. And Caitlyn, actually pretty caught out here. Gonna be forced to heal and flash. And will it be enough? Actually, Jinx gonna outsmart the cop there. Use the rumble to zone her in a predictable direction. 
And boom goes the giant ultra mega rocket. <laughs> um, but yeah, we do see the blue side now rotating over as a group to try and get this turret. They're going to be able to clear through this wave and have enough minions here to let Jinx the turret destroyer just wail. Actually, Rumble looking to get aggressive, going to throw down um, the ultimate there, lay out the red carpet, and that will get them low enough. Uh, for Annie to come in and burst the rest of them down. Actually, Jinx is going to get all thrown down on the ultimate under her turret, but will be able to flash immediately after to prevent any more turret damage from ramping up. And that will be another set of kills going over to this blue side, who now get this inhibitor as well. And Zen doing his best to answer with the split push, going for an inhibitor himself. But working on the Nexus turrets now are this blue side. And Jinx actually getting the turret aggro somehow. Gonna need Annie! No! Annie! Why? Good guy Annie! Why? Where is good guy Annie? This is evil, insane, traitorous Annie here. As Jinx gonna go down there to the Caitlyn ultimate. Unfortunately, both of them dancing to try and get that uh, line of sight onto Annie prevents it from getting on to Annie as they both overcorrect. Um, but regardless, that is two inhibitors and a Nexus turret down for this uh, red team, only able to answer with a single inhibitor turret in the top lane. Perhaps the least critical inhibitor turret uh, right now, since that middle lane does even still have its outer turret up. So you're not going to be able to press that advantage in the top lane very well because you're not going to have very good rotational targets. And as we see Sona uh, throwing down some ward coverage even as I say that in that top side to make sure that they can extend that control of that middle lane's uh, turrets and be able to see where these people are coming out. Actually, Warwick going to throw down the ultimate on Warwick. Trying to follow it up is Rumble who's going to be able to go golden and get the kill as soon as he comes out onto Thresh as well. That's a double kill onto Rumble, but that will be Swain shutting him down. Some very key shutdown gold, but in the meantime, as Caitlyn was channeling her ultimate, Jinx was able to just pop in and destroy her, and Jinx gonna get blown up uh, by that uh, AP burstiness um, and finish off actually by Swain. So overall, a four for three. Going a little bit too aggressive here is this blue side throwing down the Warwick ultimate uh, onto a Warwick without the rest of your team behind you. Sure, you do have the Rumble there who was able to lay out the red carpet afterwards, but uh, there was not enough damage there to deal with the number of uh, red side players who were immediately there to try and answer. So um, we will see uh, the minions streaming in here, uh, definitely preventing this red side from getting anything off that kill. Especially since Annie gonna be a pest and shove those minions in on the top lane as well. But overall, that is the exchange this red side needs to continue to have here. Uh, if they're gonna want to continue this onward. You see Rumble has completed the, those set of items to where he's almost a nightmare here. Just missing the death cap uh, to become a true uh, thing of beauty. Uh, actually, as we see, Sona clearing this out, running uh, Teemo ward duty here with her body to see the rest of this red team is coming. They're going to be able to get it off. Yes, they are. The ward was not from a Warwick who wanted to try and flash smite, and unfortunately the smite was down for the red side Warwick regardless. So, going to be a free Baron going over to this blue side. Actually, throwing out the red carpet, going to miss largely, and Warwick going to try an ultimate to do what he can to slow this down. But unfortunately, that's not going to be enough. And that will be a double kill, or excuse me, not a double kill, but a second kill following that onto Swain with the Baron up minions in this top lane. You got to think that this is just the end we're watching play out right now. As Rumble going golden here. Sona actually flashing into a lot more damage here. But that is the Zin Zhao going down. Only two members still alive for this threat side here. Jinx looking to go forward as much as possible. Really wants to outsmart that cop. Gonna throw out some damage, one more Q will do it, and it does, but Thresh gonna be able to get the kill, returned solo kill onto that Jinx. Unfortunately, the Warden, a little too strong, can't outsmart everyone. <laughs> as we see Rumble going down as well, actually gonna need to focus that turret um, with these minions here, 
The Thresh getting that Warwick off the target as long as possible, but the minions do finish that up, and that is a one for one during all this. But there's Tibbers, and that is the game with the final Tibbers burst. GG, that will be the game. Going over to this Crunchyroll team on the blue side, uh, beating out Amazon Pentahugs with the one member fill of that AP Zinzao, um, who unfortunately was not able to get. Uh, Spiraling out of control like AP Zinzows tend to do. <laughs> um, but the real story of this game, as we see the source summary, is the 1407 Annie. There for over half the team fights and became an absolute nightmare to deal with. Um, already, like, outpaced the gold on anyone else in the rest of the game by far. Looking at the damage here, um, we're going to see that Rumble, bloody Rumble, as we were talking about him in almost every team fight, just laying out tons of DPS. Uh, will have the highest DPS of the game and the highest uh, impact here as well. But Swain definitely tried to put out as much damage as he could, actually equaled about Annie. Uh, and when we look at his score as well, uh, he certainly was bringing in the kills for his team, but unfortunately was dying himself, opted to... Uh, Go for that tankier style build to try and get survivability, but still didn't quite have enough um, to prevent his own death in most of those uh, engagements, unfortunately. So, overall, uh, the story of this game does seem to be that Annie who went absolutely hog wild, that Rumble who got himself going early enough in the game where he was able to be a huge factor in almost every team fight. Again, looking at that amount of team participation, he was in. 26 kills involved him. That is an insane amount of kills to be a part of and be a critical part of uh, with how much that Rumble was doing. So, great play here from this Crunchyroll team. Definitely showing uh, some solid proficiency on these uh, sort of off-pick champions they have. Uh, I think this would put a lot of other people, uh, a lot of other teams, in a little bit of a fear zone here going forward. Uh, needing to start respecting those champion picks as well uh, in the future. But thank you all for watching. That is the game. If you want to see any more games, uh, you can always go to the After Hours Gaming League website, which is lovely uh, display puts on your screen <laughs> for you. Um, all the matches will be uploaded there. Uh, all the schedules will be posted there as well. So if you want to follow your favorite team, definitely check out the schedules on that website. And you can always, of course, stay tuned to my channel. I will be streaming games every uh, Sunday on this channel live. And I will also be putting up the replays as soon as they are finished. So with that, I will finish this one and get this one uploaded as well. And that is the final game of the day uh, for any of our streamers. So thank you all for tuning in, and I hope to see you guys next week.